Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Crime Brawl. I think we're actually almost there at the end, to be honest. So let's see what goes on this one. That creature's body is made of baby faces. Do I know you from certain? You look something from. You took something from me, didn't you? You little thief. Where's my little needle, huh? Did you stab all your little friends with it? What? Little needle? Are you the dead nurse I saw back in the Oswald Sun? Do I look dead to you, you little beast? Take a number with you and wait for your turn in the waiting room. But unless I need, I need medical attention. I just want to. I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. What's up this way? Oh. Let's take a number. 07. Ugh, just take a number and wait your turn. Hey kid, this is my turn now Now to talk here with the nurse, alright? You don't wait and leave us alone, I'll tear you apart and eat you. Ew, you eat children? Did you know that we, that we children are actually immature? <laughs> Hey, hey, leave the patient alone now. The doctor will determine the severity of the illness. Don't worry. They listen, they see, they touch. <laughs> oh, I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours? Maybe days? Huh, I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone been waiting? Mm, I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks, totally hopeless. Ahem. Excuse me everyone, but is there a way to make things faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that you could help us off. Help, you could also help us all. But why would you become a doctor yourself then? I can't because I'm very sick. I can't. My R.I. is blinded. My is blinded. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I must be a patient. <laughs> Neither can I. I've lost my ability of frightening myself in the mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Hmm. But how can you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. In Ugh, enough, it's impossible to, to talk in sense with any of you. Of course you can't make sense with us. You're not the one that sees it all. You're only known us for a few minutes. That's very little time to understand at all. Hmm, that's true, but it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Well, it helps to, to better understand each other. We do understand each other very well, without our uncommon sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. Hmm, but who is the one that sees it all then? You mean Makuba? No, Makuba knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. Now, I want to wait because talking won't make the wait go faster. Uh, Alright, thank you for nothing. Ah, waiting was fun at the beginning, now it's just boring. Wait! <laughs> that could be the number display. Huh, I have number 7. It'll take ages to find. Let's get a better number. Number 2. Do you see the screen? I have number 2. It's almost my turn. I think my horn won't grow. I think my horn won't grow again. I'm going to be very angry because of that very soon. Okay, go to the. Oh, there's a door. It's locked. Maybe somebody must open it from the inside. Maybe the nurse can open it. Your body is made of baby faces. Can I have an answer? 
Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. Not, no, not really. No, I'm not interested. Would it be possible? I have number seven. I would like to help, but it's my turn to help myself. So no. Okay. Would it be possible to exchange I have number seven? Mm, that's not not too convenient with me. I'm sorry, but no. Well, that guy's definitely not going to. Do you see? I have number two. Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number no. I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illnesses I have. What if I find out what illnesses you have? Would you then give me the ticket? Sure. If I'm still here when you come back. I'll give you my ticket when you find out my illness. How the hell am I supposed to do that? The bar boy said something about this. I think it's the hijacker. Oh, that creepy. Shoot, it's not your turn yet. She knows everything. Can you please wake up again, Cooler? Ugh, I have so many questions. Why does... What does it mean to be... Can you help me? Can you please wake up, Cooler, again? Little girls in the Cougars are always dark. Are you... I mean, that left cup. Are you a friend of the Cougars? Hello, you look a bit like Raymond. Are you cousin to Raymond? You are a much prettier though. What does it mean to be a I need to find something about this guy's feelings. Nice to see you. Did you find your cat? No, I'm not. I'm not giving up. See you. Okay, so is there anything I need from here? A tiny sock for all my tiny feet. Cat hair on. Hmm. I'm stoned. And all. How could you? I hope somebody takes off your teeth as well. Well, the tooth fairy already took all my baby teeth. Insane, isn't it? You took my stuff. Why did you need my stuff? Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do, what can I help with? Can you tell me what illness the creature who has number six suffers from? He's in the waiting room, waiting room, waiting. Hmm, let me see. Oh, I see him. But from what I can see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by low levels of agony in him. Wow, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, cry in all the tears you can, Tarai, until you fill this bottle with ooh. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm in a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when I got home with my teeth. But now, everything is so confusing. I was really crazy talking to her. It was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Makuba said that I was selected for something, but she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kidding. But that midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to his first time being happy. Hmm, lovely pain, so profound. The bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Now go, time does not wait for anyone. Thank you, I'll be going now, goodbye.
Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me? How lovely. <laughs> Let me see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixirs I've ever tasted before. Give me more. Give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I help. All right, all right. There you go. And thank you. Your cheers taste absolutely delicious. Now calling number two. Oh, okay, fine. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number. Wait. I'm sorry we don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty. I just want to find him. I lost kitty. Don't worry. That's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky though. Many lose their mind instead. Ha. <laughs> lucky. But how do I get an appointment then? Uh, just call me. Here's my card with my telephone number. Oh, uh, you can't. Why must I call you? Why can't you just make an appointment now? Well, that would be silly, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Uh, Alright, I'll go and make, make the call then. Okay, so that's what the phone was for. Uh, where's the phone again? Oh, it's down this way. Okay, hold on. Examine. Oh, 0121 Hello? Yes, you told me to make a call to make a phone. Hmm, it's Ryan Brown. Mm -hmm. I'm available now. No, no, uh, no. Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great. 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 Thank you. Bye. Yes, bye. Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, Brad Bow is my name, and the appointment is now. Let me check the archive. Ah, yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. Alright, thank you. I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Phew, yes, yes. What a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Remore. Remore. Jesus. If you haven't chosen to end your life yet, isn't the pain you feel enough? You are remore, aren't you? I haven't gone, gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remore, the terrible black prince of darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where's my cat? Why did you do... What did you do to Dr. Dean? Dern. I enjoy immensely seeing you suffer. A suffering dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. You are the manifestations of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? What? You are assuming that this, it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. No, it can't be. Stop! I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. What? What? Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parent? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. What happened? Did he control her? What? I don't know. That monster must 
wants to trick me. I know. Everybody is crazy around me. I have to find Kitty and Lee. Oh, we can get some answers now. Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty, answer me. What? What's wrong with you? Meow, meow. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please, don't do this to me. <laughs> talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. This is... It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to Aetherstar, my darling. Palantis can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Meow. Oh, Kitty. I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dean, alright? He seems to be in trouble. Dr. Dean, are you alright, sir? Sir, wake up. Oh, what shall I do to wake him up? <laughs> Maybe this will wake him up. Why do you look like that? Uh, uh damn, what was that? Don't worry, dude. It's me, Fran. Uh, what? I can't see very well. Fran, sir, from the Oswald Asylum. We're, we're at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I trying... What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, Fran, monsters. I don't not feel like playing game. Oh, alright. It wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. But what is she doing here? I thought you changed her. Ah, I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Did you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Oh, great. Why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I am Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald? From the Oswald Asylum? Yes, Fran. The same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many, many years I was studying the significant and magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both of them both helped me to find the key to success. The key? Hmm, did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Oh, yes, of course. Rima did a good, great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Rima all the time. But why does he hunt me? Remorse is a manifestation of your weakness. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. Because of your par because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering, and pain is connected to growth and strength, Mark. Also, please, let's just do what we need to. On Grace, please don't be mad. We're family. But let's go. My pity and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Okay, why... Go with on Fran, isn't that what you want? Okay. Fran, my dear, listen to me. You must know, Dr. Arnold only wants the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a special girl. He told us to take care of you, good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted you to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best, but for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment. And then everything will be fine, of course, but there is still one thing we must take. This little traitor must go. No, Mr. Midnight! No! No, Kitty! Come on, Fran, stop weeping. The cat's dead now. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you! I hate you! Stop! Help! Help! Please, help!
Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. They shot her! They shot her! But, oh my goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do this while she's still warm. I need you to trap the frame right away. Fran, are you alright? What have you done with her? You tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Dern. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She is mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking forward, looking for the right time, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Ah! Oh, Fran, everything will be all right. Who are, who are you? Did I admit what the one many children talk about? You're not human. Ectobro, ectobroid, polantra, monacaius. The grass. It what? I found that high I found him. Oh my goodness. Stay away from the far away from the girl. Leave her alone. Little Fran must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes. She's not completely gone here. Yeah. I can go. Here I go. Oh, Mother Mokoba, you took the innocence of the child. Free and Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards the light. I'm still cold. Look at me. Oh, what happened, Ickwit? Palantra? My head hurts. Miss Mitter, help! You're alive, my kitty! I miss you so much. Please tell me something. Brad, we must go now. Go? Alright. Dr. Dern, look, this is it with an other trust. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real, see? Can you believe me now? He can't hear you. I think he is under the star of the power of Makua now. We really must leave now. But he can come with us, please. He's been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him believe all of this was a dream. He'll wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Brad. I see. Very well. Uh, well, that's okay, I guess. As long as he's safe. That's good. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. You really think so? Aw, oh, thank you, Polaritus. Now, let's send Dr. D. Duran home. Marcel Duran, Unama, Lakaman, Sunday Lost, Ikto! Giving you guys a little bit of flair for the last little bit. Hi, Dr. Duran. Let's go now, Brad. There is much you must see and learn. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. I still don't know many things. Yes, lots, lots of stuff. But one thing I do know, that between guilt and fear, I choose happiness. I like that though, anyway. Bad is the pile. But then she kills her parents. But why? Why did Dr. Oswald want her powers? Like why? Like why did he want her powers? 
Like, does he want to also go into the same realm? Okay, so she killed her parents. So, Reem, but Reem will actually was desperate to kill her parents. So Reem was actually the most manifestation of her dark fear. So, so Makuya is actually her brain and thinks she knows everything. So, she knows everything. Why? Oh, this thing is just confusing. But yeah, that is Prime Brawl for you got people. Hope you enjoyed it, and stay safe. Goodbye!